What I miss? Let's find out. We now have the release dates of the Phase 4 films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So far we have seven release dates confirmed for all of our speculating purposes, including July 21st, 2020, May 7th, 2021, July 30th, 2021, November 5th, 2021, February 18th, 2022, May 6th, 2022, and July 29th, 2022. It's definitely a case of different yet similar in regards to their three movie per year quota that they've been meeting for a while, but at the same time, I'm interested in seeing which of the confirmed movies are going to be attached to these dates. More than likely, they're probably gonna keep the Spider-Man sequel in July, and they're probably going to use the 2021 date. Guardians Volume 3, however, is a bit up in the air. As far as months are concerned, Volume 1 came out in August and Volume 2 came out in May. And considering that there's no August date and that Volume 2 may more than Volume 1, I'm gonna bank and say that one of the release dates for Volume 3 is gonna be May. But while we're speculating on those, I think it's pretty safe to say that the February date is dedicated to Black Panther 2 because we're officially getting a Black Panther 2, bitch! Not only did Kevin Feige confirm that Marvel Studios has ideas in a direction to take Wakanda in the sequel, but they also want Ryan Coogler back for it because wanting anybody else for the sequel is just career suicide. Now, as I stated before, like part one, I'm not sure if Marvel Studios is going to give Black Panther the Black History Month date, also known as the I see what you fucking did there strategy. All I know is that I'm stoked, I want Ryan Coogler back, and please no Namor or Doctor Doom as the villain because I just got Wakanda and I don't feel like seeing it destroyed in the, only the second fucking movie. Kristen Wiig has officially been casted as Cheetah in Wonder Woman 2. Originally there were reports that she was being entertained for the role of a villain, but they didn't necessarily specify who. Though we and pretty much every other news source was all like, it, it's it's Cheetah. She they want they, she she's she's playing fucking Cheetah. But with the tweet that director Patty Jenkins sent out on March 9th, it's pretty much confirmed now that she's playing Cheetah. As far as how I feel about the casting. I'm interested. After all, I've seen the type of work that Patty Jenkins and Charlize Theron can do in Monsters, so I'm pretty sure there's a possibility that Kristen Wiig can pull a Heath Ledger in this role. You know, with without the dying part. And speaking of Charlize Theron, it just makes me wonder how big Cheetah's role is actually going to be in this movie. Because if the rumors of Theron playing Cersei in this movie are still true, then first of all, Fuck yes. Second of all, that might mean that Cheetah might be a secondary villain to Cersei like Black Manta is to Ocean Master in the Aquaman movie. Nevertheless, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested in the casting decision or where she's going to take the role. Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio are officially on board Quentin Tarantino's Charles Manson movie that I don't care about. It'll be the first time Brad Pitt and Leo are in the same Quentin Tarantino movie that's unfortunately not Kill Bill Volume 3. And the first movie of Tarantino's is not funded by Harvey Weinstein, nor does it star Uma Thurman as the bride. Now given what happened behind the scenes of Kill Bill Volume 2 regarding Uma Thurman's car crash, and the fact that Harvey Weinstein was thrown out of Hollywood just as quickly as the kids from Crunchum Hall threw out Principal Trunchbull and Matilda, I really do hope that this movie helps Quentin realize that he was being a piece of shit and he shouldn't really look a gift second chance horse in the mouth. Or however that saying goes. That way he can repair his friendship with Duma Thurman, regain her trust, and start making the movies that were not only promised but that I actually care about. Like Kill Bill Volume 3. Look, y'all wanted me to talk about this film so don't get mad that I'm using this opportunity to be selfish. I don't give a flying fuck about this movie. So there's this video game coming out on the Nintendo Switch called Smash, and everybody seems to be pretty hyped about it for some reason. It's gonna have the Squid Kids from Splatoon in it, and Nintendo's planning on releasing it sometime this year. Everything else about it is pretty much tight-lipped over at Nintendo, but I guarantee you the, 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 the bees are a-buzzing about this bitch. Which, I get. From what I've been hearing from all of my friends who are also Nintendo stands, the last game for Smash came out four years ago, and the last good one came out ten years ago. I'm genuinely happy for everybody who's been looking forward to this game who has a Switch, in the process of getting a Switch, was waiting for this game to be announced before getting said Switch, etc, etc. 
I'll probably play it when my friends try and teach me and, you know, lose every time because outside of Pokemon, I don't know how to Nintendo. But I'm more than likely gonna be the same way when Soul Calibur 6 comes out, so don't, don't even trip. You, uh, you go on and enjoy your thing, cause I'm sure the fuck gonna enjoy mine. Anyway, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below any news stories that I might have missed and I'll make sure to cover them next week. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.